Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'm gonna continue my Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. So as you can see we are in the middle of capturing Corvus. Well, what I'm thinking is to wither them down to zero and then simply take it over. I don't see any need to storm the place since I can't get it without a fight within three turns so why bother. So in three turns we'll get this system, this population as well as the research experts which will boost our science quite a bit especially on those non-science worlds. For those who might ask how does this work? Any planet that has lower than 5 science income will boost that, will get a boost up to 5. So, in case Shaddai 2 it'll, from 4 it'll turn to 5 and in case of Shaddai 1, if I'm not mistaken, will come get from 0 to 5. So, quite a nice boost there. And that's the main reason why I want this system. Plus, we're gonna grab some additional population units for splicing, and we'll see what else. So, let's get on with the gameplay. Let's end the turn. Okay, diplomatic relation change with harmony. Now they're the friendly. The harmony are here. Now we cannot assist them. However, we can boost the relationships with them to maximum. That's not a problem. Then we'll see what else we'll do. Fagus has level 3 modernization done. When we're done with the tech here, I believe that I'm gonna focus more on reaching the level 5 development upgrade, because, well, we could use that, especially to get that autonomous administration to reduce the empire approval penalty for over-colonizing. And we'll see. Okay. Getting some more ratio. This, this system is also almost full, so let's start colonizing the next one. We can also check this curiosity here. Okay, here we've got the Vodiani homeworld. Looks like they also have medium ships focused on energy weapons. And it looks like primarily on lasers. So we need to retreat from here. Okay. Now this ship, this fleet will go on defense and these units, well I still need to beat these, this fleet of theirs. Hmm. So let's remove it. They are heavily focused on projectile weapons. And it looks like they've got a lot of... Hmm. Torpedoes, considering their range accuracy. So this might end up with some losses. Let's see, we could go in for Turtle. This will reduce their firepower quite dramatically. While a lot of our weapons will still have quite a nice damage output on short range. So let's try this. Okay, well, we've lost another ship, a ballista this time. Let's 
so our fleet of our new medium ships is slowly making its way to Shaddai when it arrives there I'm gonna join them up with this fleet here and we're gonna join forces and after that I'm gonna take care of Scythe and clear out those pirates okay no changes here no changes there let's end the turn Okay, we've managed to successfully infiltrate Crass again. However, they have no technologies available, so that won't help us at all. We can support the rev revolutionaries. Or we could infiltrate their scanners. Let's see what they've got there. Okay. Hmm. We got some Nairus population units, as well as his volley. Besides that, a lot of pacifists. And it looks like we've got a hero available for recruitment. Two guardians and a seeker. Hmm. One is Horatio, one is Riftborn, one is Volters. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could use a Seeker. Okay, now let's see. I still need more governors. We got still three systems that could use a governor. So let's grab, let's send one to Cohab. Okay, this will be Andrew Camille Z. Okay, now let's level it up. First the basics, as well as the approval, since we need that. Okay, let's take a look at that system. Preserve the academy. Protect the academy by destroying the rogue with the Ani fleets. Hmm, can't quite tell where they are. Besides that, we still have quest to deal with at Echidus. Okay. Changes there. Okay, I'm. Hmm. Could ask them to leave. Let's try that. This contact is unwelcome. For what reason do you interrupt our crusade? Hmm. I shall defend the faith, whatever that requires. Okay. That was. I didn't look what I took. Speak swiftly. Okay, let's try to force them to give us some resources. What could we use? Hmm. Could try to grab all of their titanium or hyperium, I suppose. Let's see what do we have. Hmm. Could grab the hyperium because we have less of it. Okay, and the economic sanctions. Let's make an offer. I shall defend the faith, whatever. Okay, they gave us all of their Hyperium, so now we have much more of it. Okay, now here we got two star lines. Let's send one province one way and the scout the other way. Okay. 
changes there. Let's take a look here. We've got two anomalies on unavailable planets. Let's check them out. Okay, they got proto orchid here. They found the advanced Maggie laser, which is nice. Okay. I'm gonna pull back to Aina and there I'm gonna repair my ship. Okay. Our hacking operation is inactive, so let's use it. Hmm. We could try to hack somebody else. See how it would, how long would it take to get to Groose from Shaddai? Twenty-two turns, quite a long time. Hmm. Well, Yovanus would take seven. Could try to install a backdoor here. Then go further. Okay, let's try that. Okay, next turn. We've got an election. Let's go. Let's see how this ends up. Looks like the militarists have some heavy support. And we get access to the all hands dictum. Which grants us plus two industry per splice population zone systems. Which is quite a nice boost. Now the photobomber quest. Okay, so we'll have to for some curiosities. Hmm. Okay, I got another fleet here. Okay, so we need to clear it out at once. And after that... We're gonna solve the system. It doesn't make any sense to wait any longer because they are withering us down. Let's go with Gorilla. Now let's occupy the system. Okay. So now, now that we got this, we can start upgrading it slowly. We also managed to assimilate this faction, so now let's see. Well, it doesn't look like it's visible here. We do, however, get. 70 science from population here, which is quite a lot. So, now since we've got that done, we can start to think about something else. Hmm, still need to build the D Dinark University. Take a look. Here we are starting to build our ships, so let's build the university over here.
could also check these curiosities that we have. Let's prioritize this because it will take not too much time and might provide us with some nice boosts. Okay, now here. Can get extra dust. And only dust. Hmm. Let's grab Mill's family favor. Since it'll give us more, I suppose. We've got a fed pilgrims unit. Population unit, I mean. One more and we'll be able to splice them. And we've got empty space. Hmm. Now let's see. Could grab more food, but that's not necessary. Unless I intend to utilize the food to influence conversion, then it's more useful. We also can build another subsidiary. Got two trading companies done. So let's see. Got one on Shaddai. Corvus is not a good place to build one. I suppose Polaris will be a good spot. It will take five turns to build it there, but it will also be useful. Okay. Let's put it before col colonizing. We also need some more industry here. Predictive logistics would take quite a bit of time, so I'm going to leave that for now. Nebula clouds owned. That's nice. So now let's build the pulvis production for the extra dust. We could also build the obelisk as a remembrance here. We have at least one temperate planet. Or we could build it somewhere else. However, here we've got a lot of sterile worlds. And here, mainly hot. Let's build it at Shaddai. Okay, could also boost the defensive capabilities of Shaddai since it's more, as a, more of a border system here. So let's grab the defensive upgrades as well as the exotic rations in the Patriot Pills plant. Prices are very low, and I have quite a huge need of it. Let's see. If I were to buy out everything, that would cost quite a bit. Let's see how much would cost to buy. Let's say 70. This is still cheap, so. Let's buy Red Sang for 2.5k. Let's. 2.6, okay. So now we should be able to modernize another system. Let's see here. Corvus is still level 1. The same, we'll have the same. 
However, Forest has the most population right now, so... Hmm. Okay, let's start here. Now, I know I could pick a system with which has lower population to boost the growth, but... Still could. Well, we could boost Shaddai. Okay. Gonna cancel that. Give the level 3 modernization here to Shaddai. You know, forest. Forest is full. It's ecstatic. And it has some titanium and some other resources as well. Let's build these for now. Simply to boost the influence growth. And after that, we'll see. No changes here. Virtual artifacts have been discovered. Not sure why or when, but still. Hmm. Now we could change the cool copies clause for something else. Let's see. Have power to the people. This wouldn't be bad. Or all hands dictum. Hmm. Let's grab power to the people act for now. We could use the the extra science. It'll cost us four hundred twenty six influence per turn, but we have more than enough income currently, so we can afford that. This should boost our science quite nicely. Okay. We got some curiosity here. Some ruins and a huge gas giant. Giga lettuce. There is a quest curiosity here. So let's go and check that out. Corvus. There are three colonized planets here. All of them have Duvians in them. We need to spread them out a bit in order to boost the growth and we need to get some Horatio in here. Shaddai is a good bed. It's quite close and also it has that has quite a lot of population. But first I need to do something about those pirates because it's quite risky to move through a pirate system with civilian ships. I'm simply risking losing the civilians there. That's not something that I want to try. So we're gonna refill these ships and then we're gonna go after Sai as well as these pirates here. Okay, I need to check them out actually. And let's end the turn. Okay, 
E top 5, we've got some ionic crystals there, looks like it. Even more ionic crystals. And even more ionic crystals, oh boy. So Ita has three sources of ionic crystals here. This is huge. So boost our economy quite massively. Plus we're, we have quite nice income of ionic crystals now, so we'll be able to use them for the level 4 modernization when we get to it. And so that's great. Okay, we also have to level up on our heroes, so... Let's see... Ita. Food, food... Manpower capacity and system... Mechanical genius. Okay, after we're done with these research projects, I'm gonna grab the gravity and shield in the laboratories. Later we'll see. Now here the Horatio and Fadges. I need to look at that system. Got a life form here. Let's check it out. Might be some additional resources. Could grab the extra luxury resources. Or we could grab some food or approval. Potentially the crowd controller, but our approval is already ecstatic here, so that's not that doesn't have the highest priority here. Is there anything else useful? We could also grab the conscription genius. Why? Because this is a hero that's in the Senate, so we can use his skills to boost the Empire as a whole. This would increase the manpower capacity and the whole Empire by 25%, which is a huge amount. Hmm. Let us grab this. Now we are getting quite a huge income of manpower. And the Corvus is ge degenerating because of a little food. Okay. There's a lot of strategic resources here. So we can use the interplanetary transport network to boost our industry and after that we're gonna boost our food income and we'll see what next and a crystal discovered these are done we can build a new trading company now let's see we already have a subsidiary here on Shaddai uh, looks like the next one is either Cohab or Forest. And speaking of Forest, we could remove this defensive program here. Because the hags don't go this way. Looks like it. Okay. Hmm. Looks like backdoors also allow us to increase slightly the tracing speed, didn't notice that until now. So that's an interesting thing to know. We could use some offensive programs here. Let's start with the piggyback. And a accelerator. 
Now these programs are not yet active, I can cancel them at any moment right now. Until they... the hack reaches the planet, I can still cancel them. When they reach, they become active and then you cannot remove them. This hack needs to end for them to finish. Okay. Here. Don't get any repairs currently. Might be because the system is blocked. Can't quite tell. So I need to pull back from here. So let's go to that collapsing star instead. Here, let's check this curiosity out. Let's look around. What else is there? Okay. So, we are over 30 minutes, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around!